In recent years, artificial intelligence, or AI, has emerged as the dominant force in tech and computing. Google CEO Sundar Pichai describes AI's potential as more profound than the internet, or even fire. And this power of AI is now being applied to the decarbonisation of shipping, with potentially groundbreaking results. Now more than ever, regulators and consumers demand lower carbon shipping. To get there, you must measure and manage your emissions. The solution is leveraging big data and artificial intelligence and challenging the status quo with a new generation of industry disruptors, people like Army Daniel. Windward is a maritime AI tech company that partners with governments and businesses to help them manage their risks and optimize their operations. Windward is a global leader in maritime risk analytics. The company has created an AI platform that leverages behavioral data on every vessel in the world's fleet. As stakeholders seek to improve their environmental ratings, they need to take into account hundreds of dynamic data points, such as vessel path, fuel efficiency, weather and vessel interactions. We're building a model to independently assess and measure carbon emissions from every vessel worldwide. And the fact of the matter is that the same vessel doing a similar but not identical journey could have a quadruple amount of carbon emissions. And if you provide this to charters, to banks, to ship owners, and even to logistics providers on a daily basis without asking the owner for data all day, you can really make a difference in how they take decisions and actually reduce the carbon emissions on a day by day, week by week, quarter by quarter basis. Properly harnessed, AI is the tool by which informed decisions and predictions about decarbonization can be made. Being a ship owner is a horrendously complicated life these days. Um, so what we're trying to do is, is help make that as simple as possible. One of the things we're looking at is a practical output. So building AI models so that you can look at every ship every day, build a dynamic approach to risk. So how do you look at different vessels compare them to their sample population and then understand how they compare to each other on a dynamic basis. So what's the difference between this voyage and the last voyage I did a few weeks ago? Such predictive data can inform large-scale investment decisions, voyage routes, chartering decisions, even ship design and ultimately accelerate shipping's decarbonisation journey. But for a sector so steeped in tradition, leveraging the power of AI will require a change in mindset. We need to get away from relying purely on experience to uh, understanding the data, which is now much more available uh, to everybody. And the application of AI just brings new opportunities to see things that you couldn't see before. If you take that skill set and you integrate it with new let's call them non-conventional marine data sets, things like uh, wave, height, temperature of the ocean, salinity of the ocean, things that you wouldn't normally have, and you integrate that with more conventional shipping data sets, and you apply machine learning and AI to that, suddenly you'll see things that it wasn't possible to see before. According to Windward's chairman, former CEO of BP and now chair of Beyond Net Zero, we are past the time when cost alone can determine the choices made in shipping. Shipping already produces around about 3% of the carbon dioxide output of the world, and that's too much anyway. But as time goes by, that percentage is almost certainly going to go up to 10%. We need to stop it going up, and that's what AI will do for us. And the people who are going to pressure it are the ship owners, the charterers, and of course customers. They want to know whether their goods coming to their home are shipped in the most carbon neutral way. Big data and artificial intelligence have the power to transform the way we do everything. And for shipping, it's opened up a new world of possibilities where anyone anywhere in shipping's ecosystem can measure, predict, and therefore manage their carbon footprint. And that means at Wynwood, they're possibly plotting the course of shipping's greener future.